Hello! It's me, Master Fuji! And I wanted to thank all you W3 faithful for supporting W3! Whether you subscribe to our Twitch channel, or subscribe to YouTube, thank you! Also, did you know that you can buy our merchandise? Wow! Let's head on over to Pro Wrestling Tees! Look at all those shirts! Look at that! That one's purple! I hope Wu Fang isn't planning to run over Gloria and Powder Keg in that one! I see the Unseen shirt! Rook wears that! In fact, I saw him wear it when Drew created him in 2K23! He's even a scumbag in three dimensions! Drew created me as well! Although that one doesn't have the same amount of views as Rook does. Let's head over to the Streamlab store! Wow! Look at all the mugs! I also like coffee. It keeps me regular! That's a talking shit mug. I remember that show. They never asked me to be a guest. I'm a little offended. But what a good price! Look at that! Wow! That bag has the tradition on it! Look at this! This kind of makes me laugh. Look at all the Burkowski stickers. There's so many. Look at that sticker. I can put these on my CPAP machine. W3. Join Big Dog, Andrew Everett, Living Legend, Courtney Rush, Chair Throwing Free, Nexus Omega, and Dino Fucking Whitworth for another action packed episode of W3. The best wrestling in the whole wide world. Welcome to another installment of W3, episode 193, or is it 194? Oh shit, oh shit, I don't know, I don't know, chat, I, 193, I, fuck yes, I was right, holy shit, we are closing in on 200, and we're closing in on Blood and Steel 3 as well. We got bangers. We got bangers up and down this bitch to set it up. Uh, for instance, in the main event, it's kind of a little tradition around these parts before we head into the uh, the, the pay-per-view next Sunday. Champions versus Challengers, eight-man tag team action. The heavyweight champion, junior heavyweight champion, and the tag team champions, team of Powder Keg, Black Jaguar and the Schneiders taking on Beastasauri, Black Widow, Hannibal, and Machio Kronos in the main event tonight. Semi main event of the evening, excuse me, uh, television championship singles matchup here as Jekyll defends against the count. Two predominant heavyweights, and I mean some hosses, uh, mainly focused in the tag team division going at it here tonight. For that television championship 30 minute time limit and jekyll has been going through absolute hell with these challenges as of recent twice both defenses he has had has ended up in a rematch he has had to uh been playing cleanup here in his television championship run that's got to take a lot out of you period Junior heavyweight division eliminator. That is this week's eliminator. Wonder who is gonna be joining that one. No one returning 
in that one. Uh, so four randomly chosen junior heavyweights outside of that top five spot heading into it tonight to get that fight for the fifth at Blood and Steel 3 in the junior heavyweight division. Speaking of fight for the fifth, we got the heavyweight division fight for the fifth tonight. And God damn it, Nexus. <laughs> yep, have, I just threw up in my mouth a yeah, little bit, so uh, I know exactly what you're going to say. We have Sumo Joe versus Kim Chi for that fifth spot in the heavyweight division. Joe is clawing his way back into the top standings of the heavyweight division. Look the fuck out. We got junior heavyweight division contenders action. Legend, you're going to like this one as Dim Sum faces Jaguar here tonight. Dim Sum could be moving up. In fact, Dim Sum is just did what Sumo Joe's trying to do last week. Dim Sum's the guy that has set the junior heavyweights. We're bringing the fucking heat tonight. Holy shit. Warjo, Ashua, and Super Boomer colliding once again. They went 60. They got more to settle here tonight. Dude, Boomer's been going 60 a lot. What kind of toll is it taking on this dude to run into these top contenders in the heavyweight division just fighting his way through? Fuck, well, I that's a. I, if he wants to get back in the number one contender spot to challenge for the heavyweight championship, he has to go through these grueling, unexpected challenges. And yeah, hopefully we have a winner here tonight. Well, we're going to have a fucking fight on our hands, that's for sure. Warjo Ashua, the most competitive human being I have ever seen in my entire life. Super Boomer is going to have to try to put him down once again, but oh no, Boomer. Warjo might turn the gas on here tonight. We got all this plus so much more. We got extreme action. We got we got undercard heavyweight action. We got a lot of shit. Look at all of our shit. We got so much shit here tonight. Glad you guys could join us. And uh, and speaking of joining, hey, no, no, Legend, everything's going to be fine. You and Kyle did great work. I know. Thank you for putting up the cameras. We'll check those later. We're not going to worry about that now. We got, we got wrestling to worry about right now. God damn it. We got junior heavyweight action to worry about. You're damn right we're starting. A big bowl of chips is happy for this one with a resub coming in here 24 months in a row. 26 total. Woohoo! 26 months. Well, these two have been around since day one, Nexus. Shaolin's the guy that has has helped Abispa kind of kind of shed the 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 coils of Onispa. He's the guy responsible for it, and they're gonna have a match right here tonight. Head to head, friend to friend friend here in the opening junior heavyweight matchup nexus what do you think about it this is an absolute bonkers opener big dog they, 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 this abysma facing shaolin and this hasn't happened for a long time yes we, we've seen onispa like you said the coils of onispa maybe the shell of abysma whatever onispa was we got abysma back and yeah, the fact good. that we've seen hannibal with him lately supporting him but we we're not seeing him here tonight that's telling because the man who's going to be standing across the ring from him is the man who's responsible for bringing him back and this is going to be a fucking fight the last couple times that i recall this abisba and shaolin going at it they might be tied at one apiece the first sure. time i will never forget we talked about this off air big dog shaolin knocked out abisba in eight minutes eight minutes <laughs> and then dragoon <laughs> Dragoon, when he was challenging Abyspa for Abyspa's Junior Heavyweight Championship, there was one of those, hey, I'll pick your partner, uh, I'll pick your opponent matches, and he had picked Shaolin just to mess with Abyspa, and Abyspa got that victory back. So I'm too lazy to check and see if they faced each other since then. So I'm going to pretend that they are one and one and this is a tiebreaker, and there's going to be nothing but fucking energy in this match and the fact that the blood god is not being fed blood like he usually is throughout the mm -hmm. night and he's in the opener here might actually sway me a little bit in abispa's direction and that sweet ass green gear thank you shaolin for everything you've done but i think you brought abispa back and i think he's gonna get one over on you here tonight well with that being said let's go to the ring both of these guys like to utilize a power bomb to finish off an opponent let's see maybe a critical is hanging in the balance. Oh man, please, Fire please, Pro God. Please, it's been it's please. been what, two, three weeks? Three weeks maybe? I'm Jones and it's gonna be Me a too. big nut bust. <laughs> Alright, I'll I'll get the bucket. 
it says Drew's Nut Bust Bucket. And it's just... It, it's clean, thank God, but it's <laughs> going to be used eventually. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> this is going to be a war. Make no mistake about it. Shaolin doing uh, what he has for Abispa. It kind of disappears once they get in the ring. It's so good to see yeah, him back. I'm also oh. feeling the green. He's been making his way down to the ring. It's good to see him back in action again. Sans demonic blood coursing through his veins. And pumping out of these speakers. He's gone back to his old theme. Take fuck. Getting it underway. Dick Patty O'Malley getting the call here. Whole bunch of green in this matchup. A lot of green. Shot right across the face. Forearm blow. Second one. Beautiful wrestling by Abyssal. Okay, another thing that people always end up forgetting is just how strong Abyssal is. He's a fire hydrant, but he's in the ring with someone arguably stronger. Shaolin is a absolute top tier in the in the uh, weight department of the junior heavyweight division he can go right over that that uh, divisional standing oh no fuck oh it's my bomb oh neil what can count yeah you're totally right big dog shaolin one of the biggest yeah. feats of strength we ever saw in the beginning of w3 was him doing that praying power bomb on oh. saladin oh he's praying got him that throat thrust Right to the crowd and artery. Oh, yeah. The man who's evolved Beautiful. a bit himself, yeah. His own unique stance on the uh, dragon screw leg whip there. God, we are starting hot and heavy. Oh, one. Gordian! Junior heavy. <laughs> Frog Splash finds its mark. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Dick, come on, man. Uh -oh. This is our first match. I think he's just suffice letting them, uh, letting them just throw. Give up. This could be a hey, thank you, you match. <laughs> yeah, you, you remember when Shaolin used to just go for people's eyes, like, all the time? That was yes, something. I do. I'm glad he doesn't do that anymore. Uh, he, I just wanted to point that out there. Still does Mongolian chops, though. Oh, oh wait, he does. Oh, oh yeah, God. damn it, Shaolin. Inzaguri. You turned me into a liar, sir. Maybe thinking that that opposite end dragon screw leg whip, but he countered with an Inzaguri. Oh, oh, God! Elevated single leg crab <laughs> in the worst kind of way. Hey, Shaolin, he's taking out some of his frustration, even, if you will. Yes, Abyssal's back. Beautiful knee drop to the upper back there. Well done. Yeah, yeah Abyssal's back, but that took a lot of work and a lot of energy. Both these guys such complete junior heavyweight athletes. Slide through. What does he got planned here? Another one. Ooh. Oh, no. I think Shaolin caught up to him on the ropes. Going chest to chest. Second in Zagiri finds its mark. That one actually affects Shaolin pretty substantially. Oh, no. <gasps> Fuck! Are you He's kidding me? He decided not to. Not to go for the pin. Maybe out of respect? We haven't hit the eight minute mark yet. Maybe he's saving it. Oh, beautifully done. Maybe. Nope. Ooh, float over a snap brain buster. Well done there. Yeah, I was kind of expecting him to go for the Shote there. Me too. Ooh. Flying shoulder tackle takes him off his feet. No, two of stone pile driver. Springboard, we've seen the crossbody here. Yes, we're seeing it again. Well done by Abyspa. Almost called him Onispa. I don't want to whisk yep. out on anyone. Whoa! Ah, ah. One, two. No rope break effect in this matchup, it seems like. Dick Patty O'Malley's letting them go. From what I hear, he's been letting a lot of things go lately. Snap suplex, well done. Oh, fuck. 
Back suplex, dropping him on his head, maybe praying head, but yes, indeed! No! no. Frog splash to the back! He's gonna roll him over and pin him. Oh, 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 oh! Fuck. Repeated kissing Gary. Thunderous chops. Ducking that clothesline attempt directly into a snap suplex. Second snap suplex there in succession. Does he have in mind? Tombstone power driver! Center That's of the ring! Number three. Two! Th no! Oh, shit. Beautiful belly to belly overhead throw there. I was gonna say, both these guys have been pretty even. Here it is. Shout Show day! day! He is drawn back on those forearms. Super! Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Caught him high inside with that one. Jeez! He yeah. sure did. Hell of a thrust kick. Frog splash combination, no. Moonsault! Oh! Beautiful, the height. God damn. Oh! <laughs> you caught him. Right on the button, big dog. Fisherman Brain Buster, setting up again. Shote, no. Oh, God. <laughs> These two not missing a beat. Nope. What hey. does he have in mind here? Romero Special. Give up. Such Give a painful up. hold, but it takes so much out of the person giving the submission hold as well. As you can see right there. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh version of the decapitator. No. Damn. Forearm shot there. Almost 15 minutes into this one. Tombstone once again. Tombstone. Tombstone. The fifth. And it's ah! the fourth that does it. Well fought from both of these individuals, but Abyssa reigning victorious here tonight in the opening contest against Shaolin. What a contest. God damn. Yeah, that was uh that was that was something. That 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 was almost a beautiful end even to this whole journey that Abyssa and Shaolin have been on and both men were pretty even, but I I don't know how many tombstones you can take, big dog, but half of one would probably put me out. I'm not a fan of taking them at all. No. We still got still got plenty of wrestling. I mean, I, I'd hope so, but we're going to the heavyweight division here, but not too heavy. Both of these guys right around that divisional uh, that divisional weight cutoff, just over 220. To excuse me, 215. Excuse me, Chasm and Master Fuji. Now it has been quite a while since we've seen Chasm in singles action. And shit, it's been quite a while since we've seen Master Fuji in singles action and Hikaru Shizuka in his corner. I wasn't really even sure of who was going to be out here with uh, Master Fuji, but Shizuka playing second here. Chasm, this is an interesting matchup. One of the most just completely off the wall competitors here. His movements are unlike anything we've seen in the heavyweight division. Uh, in incredible Taekwondo background as well. So the kicks, they'll come in handy. But his 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 grappling maneuvers and the ways he finds to dump you on your head. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Maybe Master Fuji hasn't seen just all that Chasm has to offer in those wise many years. Nexus, who do you think's winning this one? I I have to go with experience here. As exciting as Chasm is, just to see how he likes to throw the jobbers around and see how how they land on their necks. He hasn't been very successful since coming to W3. Sure. A little bit of an explosion when he first came in, but. Like you said, we haven't seen him lately, and usually he's backed up by PPK, and I don't see him in Chasm's, you know, he's not coming out with him here wow. tonight. He's probably being a piece of shit in the back. So, uh, Chasm, I mean, a victory here against Master Fuji will go a long way for you, man. You have not been successful, and Master Fuji has been fucking successful in every goddamn day of his life. That's true. So I think he's going to grab one of your innovative arms, he's going to try and snap it off you, and I'm going to go with Master Fuji here. Sound and Rage with the Innovation versus Tradition. Yeah, that is true. Let's head down to the ring to get this one started. Yeah, we should probably check those cameras at some point, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's not look. look. I kind of don't want to because she told us to. 
I know, right? When you're told, like, hey, and then, do and then, this. Like, oh. she didn't. She didn't even call us. She left a note at the desk, and then she just jumps in here, and and, and just yells yells it to us from wherever she was at. Okay, like, hey, we'll get it done, Legend. God. Hello, Chasm. Wouldn't mind seeing more of Chasm. Uh, now, you touched on this before, PPK, not out here with him. Is PPK really anyone's friend? Nope. Did I answer your question? Just a note. Yep. <laughs> he's my favorite old man. To be fair, he's probably my favorite old man, too. Hello! It's me! Master Fuji! Where's Legend? Does she have my suit? Oh, I'm wrestling tonight! Where is Legend, though? She said she was gonna have my suit for after the match! Oh well. Hi, Drew! Hi, Master Fuji. <laughs> Hi, Master Fuji. Anyways. Immediately you know. trying to catch him with that open palm slap. Mmm! Ooh! Oh! Feisty chasm! Trying to outstrike Master Fuji now, here in the I early don't going. I don't know if you want to trade like that with Master Fuji. Uh, some of the slaps he had, and just like that, holy shit. You were talking about taking one of his innovative arms. Twisting yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of twisting, trying to decapitate Master Fuji. Look at that stuff, the German suplex attempt. He just wrapped his, uh, his leg around. Wow, well done there by Chasm. Yeah, well, you know what? He's not German, so... That's true, he's not from there. God, he is landing these uppercuts with precision. Master Fuji has had enough of that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, he's a thinking man's yeah. wrestler, Fuji. Like, hey, you're going to just keep trying to knock me senseless? Well, I'm going to tear off your arms. It's like a more technical version of scrambying someone's brains. <laughs> God, again, leaning into it. It's like a, a, a seated abdominal stretch there, but even more torque on the shoulder joint. Kick to the side of the leg. Beautiful takedown. Oh, oh whoa! Whoa, is, that? is he making... Whoa! Whoa! What rat coach from rat Chasm! Coach. No way. Absolutely. You know what? We oh, know that they've legend. had issues. Yeah, Legend would be pissing herself or something because Chasm doesn't like Dim Sum at all. So that was a nice little shootout. Oh. Falling kick to the arm, a Pele kick to the arm almost. Sacrificing his body to take that back bump. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make these sacrifices. His bump card should be up about now. <laughs> Been doing this for 30 years. Oh, oh my god. Surprised he's not bleeding from that one. Be oh! oh. Judo hip, hip lock just throwing him over and just flowing right into it. Almost doesn't, just fucking threw him out of the ring. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh. Trying to gain some offense there. Snapmare threw a beautiful kick. Well, com well struck combination there by Chasm. One count only. He's going to be in the semi main event, big dog. It's true. He is going to be there. And there's yeah. Joss with Jekyll. Another beautiful judo hip lock takedown. One day I'm going to actually learn the uh, proper oh, technique. Speaking oh, of technique, oh, oh. trying to take that arm. I think he got he got the full extension of it. I think Chasm turned his shoulder over to escape it. But you really can't turn over like that once the arm is fully extended. Take down oh, again. Okay. Right into a side headlock there, but pulling good for up. good for Robin to see the ropes. Thank God. Yeah. Cowboys on it. Well, Snap they're one for one. <laughs> one for one tonight so far. Oh, here we go. God damn! Beautiful. Six or seven shots there. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. Package DDT, he's out on his feet. Back suplex, that's not gonna help the matters. Nope, but he's up. It's a nice punch to the gut. 
Oh, oh. Here we go again. Zeroing in on that right shoulder. But again, he gets caught. Second time's a charm. He's not going for the pin. No, he's not, and it's uh, unfortunate. Whoa! Whoa! Going for what a counter. I mean, come on. I mean, we've seen Yoraki do that so often, you forget who he learned it from. Beautiful leg trip there, kicking out of the back of his knee. Awkward landing for him. Oh, a rolling shoulder lock. That is locked in. He could pass out here. No, pulls his way out of it. <sighs> Luckily for him. Had him, I mean, just strangling him with his own arm. Oh, no, out here in front of the Swedish announce table. Will Chasm fly? He's, he's thinking like about he's it. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's oh. a Fuji sensing. Oh, oh, locked in. Locked in. Using that foot to push Chasm away from away the Away from the ropes. Well done. Oh, smart. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> Fuji doesn't wear knee pads, so I would imagine, fuck, that that would hurt a lot. And you see Chasm's arm hanging. Oh! Oh, fuck! Flatliner into the buckle. But he's feeling the effects of Master Fuji's targeted arm. Oh, he'll oh, oh. lock in! He's been working on the arms the entire time, throwing a heel hook. Beautiful! Oh, one, beautiful! Two. Oh! oh. God damn! Mush. Beautiful switch! Oh. Beautiful switch! Oh, he's no, going to clutch! God damn, Chasm! I love it. You'll love to see it. Oh, oh no. Oh, y'all got that's it. That's it. Is it? No. Oh, he got so lucky there. Look at his arm, big dog. He's going for the cover. Hanging. Desperate cover here. No, it's oh. still not enough. He's getting so close. God. Chasm on his last oh. limb. Literally. Oh, oh. this could be it. No. no he... Oh, being 6'2. 6'2, 6'3 helped him out there. No! I thought he was going to go for the ah. lights. He hit him. He should be pinning him. Critical should. mistake here. No, wait. Hold on. Beautiful leg trip. Another sweep, yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> he doesn't need his arms at all, Big Dog. He's got those legs. Putting him to good use, Nexus. Another roll ah. shoulder lock, but again, delicious toes to the ropes. I don't know if those UCW toes are delicious, big dog. Oh, I God. take your word for it. Putting his smart. body in between Chasm and the rope. Very oh. smart. Dropped him with that open palm strike. Little chicken. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the chicken wing. It's been a while since we've seen the chicken wing. Dangerous hold. Spinning heel kick that uh, Enzigiri. Awkward way into it, throwing Fuji off. Speaking of speeding oh. heel kicks. See Shizoka getting impatient at ringside. Probably looking for his master to Again, finish kick. the match. Oh, not able to defend himself from those elbows. And look at Fuji lining up. Oh, here Does he, he comes. Have in mind? Comes right in. No. Oh, wow. Oh, no. That was a beautiful, yeah, very beautiful counter. Damn it, Fuji. Chicken wing, no! Spins him out! Chicken finger! Oh, into the kick once again! Beautiful bridge! This is it! One, two, three, no! Oh, oh no! Oh, this is it! Look at his feet! He's all, all, his petite oh, he's oh. hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. To be in so much pain that you roll over your hurt shoulder. Oh! Beautiful overhead belly to belly throw and rolling oh, shoulder lock once it. again. This has got to be it. Chasm holding on for dear life and again still finding a way. God. Fuji lining up. Oh, come on, watch your steps. Don't let him trip you. No, well done. Again, countering. Oh. Chasm is the real fucking deal. Yeah. Even without working arms. Oh, in the middle third, of the ring! Third time's a charm, but does he have enough to get to the pin? No, he doesn't. Fuji's up. Doesn't know where he is. Oh, here we go! Oh, oh headbutt! Stiff headbutt. Again, ah. zeroing in on that arm. How? Robin Charleston might need to call this here shortly. He might have to, or we're just, just going to have a one-armed man on the <laughs> roster.
Oh, oh speaking of, Fuji trying to kick it off. Beautiful takedown. Fuji's in trouble! Center of the ring! One! Two out of nowhere! Three! Chasm survives! Ah. Master Fuji's onslaught! Unreal. Unreal. The amount of punishment Chasm took in that. THC. Testicular yeah, fortitude on display here from Chasm. Well done. That bridging Northern Lights out of nowhere. Master Fuji had him lined up perfectly in Chasm. Ducking once again, bettering the savvy, savvy veteran. And you know that Fuji was looking for that chicken wing to end it all, and Chasm had it scouted. And like you said, that Northern Lights... I mean, it, I, I, The fact that he was able to even hold it with those arms, in, in the weakened state that Fuji had put them in, you saw them dangling at his side, that's that's something else. That was impressive. I'll, I'll give Chasm that. Hopefully that wakes him up a little bit. Yeah, well, this is surely going to wake up the crowd here tonight. We have our Extreme Division meetup in this next matchup. Oh, boy. It's Alibaba and Grizz Lee. No disqualifications. Weapons are highly, highly uh, likely in this one. Saladin out here with Alibaba. No cornerman for Grizz Lee as the count preparing uh, possibly for for singles gold here later tonight in the semi-main event. He will be wrestling Jekyll for that television championship. Grizzly on his lonesome here. But uh, let's be real. It's Grizzly. He can get this shit done. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think Grizz wants anyone in his corner, to be honest. I think he's going to dare Saladin to get involved. It's Grizzly, yes, one-on-one, -on -one, once again, against someone like Alibaba, who he's had many run-ins with in the past, not only in tag team competition, but even, again, in the early days of W3. We're talking, we're going into Blood and Steel 3 soon here, and all of a sudden, the, the beginning of the show has made me dig back in the past of W3, where Alibaba and Grizzly used to lock horns, especially in the Eliminators. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good to see this big money Baba versus this Grizzly, who's... Have you noticed those boots? That must be from a fresh kill. What do you oh, think, Big Dog? Oh, fresh kill. Look at that. Looking fancy with them Grizzly boots on Grizzly. Now, I'm sure this match is going to get just as that Grizzly between these two hardcore competitors not the first time as you mentioned that these two have uh matched up in w3 not the first time these two have matched up in doa they are absolutely violence personified maybe grizzly digging his heels into what brought him to the dance the extreme wrestling alibaba is a guy to do it it's the best guy to bring it out of you let's go ahead into our third matchup of the evening notice qualification in the extreme division, Alibaba and Grizzly. Well, we'll we'll check the cameras later. Yeah, just don't worry. We're gonna check the cameras. I mean, I usually get goosebumps whenever Akane's around, but for different reasons, and I haven't felt any goosebumps. So, if I feel goosebumps, I'll let you know, and we can check the cameras. Don't worry. Delible with the stats here, Alibaba, one of the most slept on W three singles uh, competitors in history. Sixty win probability. Wow, that's incredible. That's a whole bunch of words and numbers, and I'm confused. <laughs> Big to camera, you fucking fish. We're gonna check him. Jeremy with the gifted tier one sub. Oh my god, it's September, September, whatever you want to call it. Jersey driver, welcome in, guys. Get comfy. We got plenty of W3 wrestling. Yay! Yeah, we have to smell it already. All the war drums. Oh, 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 oh. Wasting no time. No time at all. Marching down here. Stomping his way down here. Fucking hell. Hey man, look at what happened with the Blessed Brutality Alliance. We currently have Jekyll as the television champion, and we have Powder Kick as the heavyweight champion. It's good to see Grizz and Count in singles competition here tonight with one of them possibly winning a title. Oh! He, oh. he fell back and stomped onto the fucking bat. Oh. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the extreme. Whoa. Hey. Ducked underneath Alibaba. that one. Alibaba trying to really make quick work here of Grizzly. 
making sure he doesn't remember who he is inside of this kind of an environment. Going for a cover. No, not even a one count. Good luck. Counts in the semi-main. Yeah. Swinging away with that. Would not match yeah. up with the with Grizzly on string. <laughs> no, he doesn't hunt Grizzly Bears with anything but his hands. Yeah. It's impressive. Wow. Normally, I'm that's not... How he I'm not one for 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 killing for trophies, but uh, if you're gonna do it, do it with your bare hands. Ah, oh. <laughs> bare hands. Let's see what you did there. You might not have known, but I hear you. Oh, I did. I'm a good boy. Going to the eyes. Nothing pretty about this matchup. Nothing pretty about that nope. right hand. Oh. Oh, I thought it was gonna explode on the knee. I would have <laughs> Every single cried. time. Yeah, you know, there's still time. Oh. It might happen. <laughs> he was going for the Grizz knee. Something tells me this one's not going to go that long. Nope, I was just going to say, look at that blood. You got him, he so got him really bad. It is oh. over. Somewhere Barry Cade is probably gassy. Oh, God. Stomping that cut into the mat. Oh, suplex. Woo! Impressive agility. What? Oh, hey. History lesson for you. Do you know Alibaba once beat Executioner with a low blow? What a piece of shit. <gasps> Stink it off the fan gaze. God damn, he heard me put him over and he tried to kill me. We're thinking of the cameras. We'll check them. Guys, just relax. Well, you've seen when Akane shows up. Light flickers. Oh, that will do oh, it. Oh, Chris. No. Chris. Oh. When the lights flicker, we'll take care of it. We're responsible dudes. Oh. oh. Get back of his quad going into that fucking fork. Oh. Shit, oh. that one's loaded too? Fuck. And it, everything's loaded. Elbow to the back of the neck. God, this, oh! Dino Buster! Dino! Whoa, shouts out to Dino Winwood! One! Just the one? You know what? There's only one Dino Winwood. Ah! Oh, that's a- No! Like this! Oh, another fucking- He's trying to chair. kill him! He's trying to He's, kill him! He has killed him! <laughs> Alibaba's passed away! No! It's over, he says! Maybe that his own ruled. life! That fucking ruled so hard! Flip that shit! God damn! <laughs> Let him go! Oh! It's over! It's over! Uh -oh. oh no! That's his ass! Oh, oh fuck! It's over! Oh, Saladin, <laughs> getting real excited here at ringside. I... Ah! Legend's going crazy, and she doesn't know why. Go to the eyes, Jesus, guttural sound there. Knee, oh, brain buster on the knee. One, two, no. Ten minutes gone. The corner. This grizzly having my nose. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Head first to the what corner. What is this? Oh, oh, grizzly. Oh. Are you grizzly! kidding me? Grizz me! Oh no! No, pin him! Get him! Pin no. him! You son of a bitch! Oh! Drop kick! <laughs> Apparently it was time for a drop kick, big dog. 300 pound drop kick. God, he moves so well for a guy his size. Yeah, but only in spurts. He's very winded right now. Uh oh. Back! Oh! <laughs> Holy, what a fucking visual this that was. This is fucking great. And chair shot to the back of the neck. Even him up with a shot to the bread basket. Oh, no. Oh! I don't know who got the worst of that. I don't know either. He fell tailbone first at the top of the chair. And Alibaba teeth first under the seat of the chair. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh fuck. 
God damn. This is a hardcore match. This is extreme. This is what these two do. I am all two, dude. I'm I am buying into Grizz. Oh my god. Are you I'm buying into Grizzly in the extreme division. Yeah, but I mean both these guys entering the extreme division, shaking things up. Grizzly in particular. Terrifying me. Oh, again! One of his On signature the maneuvers. One, two, no! Oh, right to the eyes. He doesn't need him, Baba. He can smell you, you son of a bitch. Oh. Throwing him to the canvas. Another one? Another one! Not hooking the leg, though. Just three balling it. Terrible yeah. idea. Big Money Baba is just disrespecting oh, Grizz. Oh, unprotected chair shot. Caught him with the brim of it to the head. Look at the blood. Kick to the cock. Yeah. The the executioner exactly. finisher. <laughs> well, you know, Shaolin probably could have used all this blood earlier. Uh-oh. Those bats are rigged to explode. Another, Another? one. No. Whoa. Oh no! Dark. Oh no! You got no. that time! You God got damn. that time! Is he gonna tap out? Ah, uh, he's probably—he's no. he, probably so bloody that he couldn't hang on to him. Oh! oh. oh. Do it! Do it! Yeah! yeah. Another knee! Woo! <laughs> it's September, right, September, holy shit! September is giving Grizzly and Alibaba here in a fucking all out murder death match. New legacy coming in at the right time. Oh! Grizzly's up. Oh! He ate it. Grizzly moving in for the kill. No. No. Into the corner. Oh, Shot Tang strike. That's my name. I was not expecting that, big dog. The outside, and things are gonna get nice and messy here. And I chair shot to the back of the head. <laughs> That's my name. Oh, oh, oh. he's trying to. <laughs> he tried to grab something. I didn't see what it was. He paid for it. Of course, Johnny comes in on this. Alibaba just <laughs> slipping on his own blood. It seems. These are fucking men. Just bloody men slapping oh. blood. <laughs> That's my name. Oh shit, he's slipping. He's slipping, there's so oh. much blood. Christy, on the outside. <laughs> That's my name. Oh, fuck. Ah, yeah. oh, the pitches. Oh, he's feeling it. Oh, he's feeling it. THC. Do you feel it now, <laughs> Mr. He loves, he loves not being counted out, big dog. It's his favorite thing <laughs> in the world. It's his favorite thing. The tag team division wasn't ready for him. <laughs> That's my name. Going to the eyes. No body slam there. Oh shit! Oh, here we go. On. Here no. we go. No, he's got barb. Oh. <laughs> he's got barb still. Oh no! <laughs> he still has barb. Oh, here we go. Come on. No, no, no. Nah. He's going to punish him. I think we have seen a a, a new. I don't want to say new, but a reinvigorated Grizzly. This is what he seems to have wanted. Oh, when he tears a Grizzly bear open with his bare hands, big uh, dog. Lay it off! Uh, <laughs> shit! That is the fucking power of Grizzly! <laughs> you want to talk about a lariat that... Oh, come on! That's fucking it! Oh my god! That was the most fucking metal final minute of a match I have seen in a long ass time. Welcome back to the Extreme Division, Grizz motherfucking bear ripping Lee. Oh, that match fucked so hard. What? Oh, Grizzly. Wait, yes. it was called the. <laughs> The move was called the Spine Slipter. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it called the Slipter? Why was it called the Spine Slipter? Who did have done that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, righty. 
What a fucking match, big dog. And I know th I, I know that we're supposed to uh, be checking the cameras, but I I, 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 don't, I, 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 I see Bree actually making her way down to the ring. Oh, so, shit. Legend, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait, Legend. All right, let's head down to the ring. Heated words after we uh, we caught that. I'm glad we had Kyle back there as 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 uh, as everything was being announced for the pay per view, which 
actually hold on let me let me uh let me get the pay-per-view poster up you see their blood and steel three poster ready to go that is right and next sunday 8 p.m october 2nd hell yeah but holy shit we got to talk about tekken and, and rook rook has weaseled his way into another match but you heard the boss lady say it as long as tech is holding that title if he if rook doesn't get it done here he doesn't get another shot in. Yeah, a lot to unpack there, but Rook just trying to play mind games with Tech, and Tech should know better. But we know how much he cares about Dake, so there is that. But also, Big Dog, uh, as mentioned, or, uh, Bree mentioned, Dick Forte has accepted Richard Burkowski's challenge. The so that means that one deal. Yeah, Mr. Woo Woo Woo, the forest man. He's uh he's going to be taking on, with D uh, Duke Winchester, going to be taking on Baron Reginald. And Richard Perkowski at Blood and Steel 3. All right. And, yeah, that, that'll be great. I, I'm yeah. interested to see uh, to see what Dick Forte has up his uh, his sleeves. Let's let's put it that way. That guy is never not thinking, never not scheming. He is a absolutely filthy, filthy member of professional wrestling. Quite a lot more wrestling. Our first tag matchup of the evening. Munich and Aki Man squared off against the Chi Dynasty. Ming and Cousin K. No strangers to one another, but this is where it gets muddy, man. In this in the divisional standings right here is where it gets super muddy in the tag team division. Both of these teams need a win, Nexus. Straight up, they need a win. Yeah, both these teams do need a win, and both these teams have my heart. I cheer for the G Dynasty, man. They've come a long way, and they've been falling down the rankings. They were so close to getting a tag team championship shot, and same with Dust Hype Train. Dust Hype Train has been awesome, for lack of a better word. They There's nothing to expect in a match with Dust Hype Train. You don't know what Munich is going to do next. You don't know what Aki Man is going to do next. I really can't decide between the two. I really can't. All right, let's head down to the ring for Munich and Aki Man. Das Hype Train taking on the Chi Dynasty Ming, Chi, and Cousin K. We had a Hype Train going here earlier, especially with the... Uh... With the dropped subs on September, September. Whatever you want to call it, but these guys are going to dance any season, any month, any day, any hour, right this second. Jackets. They got them. <laughs> there are very few men on this roster that will make me feel what I feel for Munich. And it's just pure joy. And, seeing a and fellow countryman. Make... Really yes, succeed. I... Look, that is the running man by the originator dance. I don't know if that's a running man. Whatever that move is by Aki Man. That is the running man. You're right. Is it? Thank you. Thank you. Screw you, Dan. You can dance your own dances. Damn. Got him. I did. Two bruising, imposing, monstrous individuals. That gene runs in the family. Kim Chi's gonna be out here later tonight, too. Gonna be fighting for his life against Sumo Joe. That's, That's gonna be one of it. That would be the main event if it wasn't for the main event. You know, Kim would have it no other what? way. Body slam there, now again just pulling on the back of the shin, rear chin lock. <laughs> Munich is like, fuck, he's strong. This guy's a fucking boulder. He's a very large individual. Not many built like Ming Chi. No. In any profession, not just professional wrestling. He has that incredibly low center of gravity. He's only about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, but he is around that 250 pound, 260 pound mark. Compact is what we would two, call him. 200 pounds are just his head. Yeah, indeed, the critical cranium. Maybe a critical here tonight. Fuck, I if can only show. So lucky. Right? Oof. 
Some sumo stylings of Cousin K on the outside there. He did his fair share of uh, sumo wrestling as a youngster coming up. Transitioned into judo that fit him uh, much more better. Yeah, and that, he uses that to yeah, his advantage for sure. Fitting that Kim Chi has uh, has Sumo Joe in the in I was gonna say the main event, <laughs> but <laughs> feels like a main event. Last time we saw Munich out here, incredible sequence that ended up with the victory there. Moonsault press off over the uh, excuse me off the top rope. His opponent ducked it. But he was able to grab a hold of a waist lock on the way over, flowing right into that beautiful German suplex. Yep, all according to that just just uh, German plans, big dog. I can't begin to tell you how efficient German plans are. Oh, He's man. fucking his toes! He's making he doesn't even weird. have boots on. No, no boots. He's actually getting in those toes, and the toes uh -oh. are getting up in him. He's just shoulder checking him. Ooh. Getting a hell of a uh, right hand for his troubles. He's coming with the left forearm. No. Face slam there. The cheese trying to use numbers here. Blue suede is doing a little shuffle. Yeah, <laughs> Showing he that sure he is. can cut a rug too. Cut a canvas. This is where Legend would say something really thirsty about him. Yeah, but she's not here. No, and we aren't sluts. Ha uh, she's stupid. I have slut tendencies, but that's okay. Don't you shame me. Yeah, me. but you you remain professional while you're working, big dog. What, what mm. you decide to do wherever you're slutty is up to you. And damn all the power right. to you. You're goddamn right. Oh, fucking oh. fucking them right in the ear. <laughs> Don't care how hard your skull is, that's just gonna fucking hurt. At the very least, your ear. Grabbing a hold of the front face lock. Oh, looking to make the tag here. I thought I'd just isolate him. Stomping at the back of the knee. Beautiful European style head scissors there. European. You're damn right. <laughs> block the kick. Didn't block that <laughs> overhand chop though. <laughs> Hijacked him up there. Just threw him over his shoulder. Showing his strength. <laughs> kind of a stalemate here. Power dance. Power dance. Good I don't winner. think it worked that time, no, McDonald. No. Hey, Jaguar defends. Oh, yeah, hey, naked no. choke. The weirdest. And no naked. No naked. DDT. DDT. Counter. Whoa! Beautiful what? switch! No. That was so fluid. That's horrifying. If, what a what dude, a sensual, if, beautiful man, cousin K is. If cousin K could bring it all together, he's a fucking absolute <laughs> problem. God, that was poetry. Whoa! My goodness, Ooh. Aki just to almost narrowly avoided. Three chops at once. And Munich just looking gorgeous. He's he'll tag when he's goddamn oh, ready to tag. Oh, eliminated. And look, now, now doing a fusion dance. Ooh, oh, kicked him right in the skull. Yeah, Munich's ready for the World Cup. Yeah. Ugh, but yeah, he creamed him. I think all of us got creamed there, big dog. Mm. Munich fighting his way out of the Chi Dynasty's corner. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. He's forgotten it even happened. He's like, hey, haircut. Repeated headbutts. That is fucking unreal. Oh, fucking. Sh oh, just shouldering him. Yes. Ooh. Oh, that no. was a German, ah! yes. Ah, that was a German, no. Nine. Very good, big dog. <laughs> Drop kick. I'm world traveled. You're very well traveled. Check the kick. Oh! There. Very nicely done. Grab an old front face lock. Tagged out there. Uh, 
Again, the hot it, tag. Really, neither of these teams pressing the matter. Or the tempo. Oh! Aki gave no fucks. Well, he's gonna oh have to God. now. Oh, is he looking to go ten toes yeah. to Jesus? He is, and he splashes down on the back. Oh, oh telling everyone where his Up business is located. Stomping on the back of the knee. Kick to the back of the head. Little combo there. Speaking of, oh! Leaping uh. pump kick with that assist. Yeah, you, you want to fuck these toes? Or are they going to fuck you up? Says Cousin K, politely. So politely. Uh-oh. Is he going to hook it in? No, he's going for the combo no. instead. One. One? That was interesting. <laughs> We're 17 minutes into it. Yeah, well, start damaging Cousin K, does I've tried, because clearly... He's still feeling it. Oh! oh, oh! <laughs> Unique combination there. But I think it actually worked for the uh, for the wrong for the wrong uh, competitor there. Beautiful backdrop there. Uh oh! Combination coming beautifully placed. Drop kick over the cover. Not hooking the leg. Idiot. Oh. Yep. Not not bright, but he's so pretty. He pretty. You can relate. Yeah, I know. Big Himbo Andy E. Oh, beautiful! God damn, you're a shoted. <laughs> Elbow strike there, flippy. Dropped him with that kick. Tags in. German! He's not from there, but he's tagging with him. Yes, but so he gets a pass. <laughs> Trying to work through some technical difficulties. It's a little bit. There's it's stormy big dog. Oh no! Oh the dozen yeah. Jesus! Right in front of cousin K, not the smartest thing to do. Schwein! Just calling him a pig in front of his cousin. Oh! Beautifully placed drop kick there. Up and down. And now! Oh. The toes are getting worked over. Making it real weird. For the weirdest. Oh, Cousin K. Oh, Cousin K looked like he was going to lay out Munich. He stopped. Oh, power dance! Is that a door? <laughs> Sounded like a door. Oh, top rope. There it is. Flying splash once again. Kicked him in the T. Ah! Tombson face fuck. buster. Yup. Two. No. Oh. Series Munich. of kicks. Oh, fuck. Munich is not feeling very good right now. Okay, call it over for the tag. Munich coming in. House of Storm. House of, wait. Oh my oh god. My god. god. <laughs> that was a dust I high plane and now fuck. fucking his toes. <laughs> I hope that doesn't get fucked by the storm because that ruled ass. That ruled all the ass. Please tell us. <laughs> I think it was good. I think it was good. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. He's going to kick his legs out. Oh! <laughs> Between his legs. Please, yeah, and people that could see it, please clip that for everyone all top rope. No! Oh no! This is terrifying! He's the bachelor! <laughs> Cousin oh. K is the bachelor, it is over. Oh no, Munich, hot tag, man! You can break his neck later. Uh oh. Pass by the kick. Oh, but he got the headbutt. Worse. Super kick. Elbow drop. Phoenix come to fucking play, boys. Here comes hot tag to Aki. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super Hulk! Locked oh, ahead. that would have been that would have been a son of a bitch. <laughs> that would have been so good. He is a piece of shit. Schwein. Piece of Schwein. Piece of oh. big. Big Schwein. Oh, hey, speaking of big it. Schwein. <laughs> ah! Oh, just a kick in the asshole. <laughs> oh God. Is there high? Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Shoulder tackle. Aki, Aki took that personally. <laughs> Aki did, and that's when Aki took it personally. Uh oh. 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 Hey, he's okay. He's like, I'm not gonna be outsmarted, and I end. I'm not the legal man. Yes. Munich getting his picture taken by someone in the audience. <laughs> ah. <laughs> You're a shotin! Oh, Got it! You're a shotin! One, two, no! Again, Munich using that quickness and that length. Skew Eliminated! Up. Oh, oh what's shit! Munich doing? No! Oh! <laughs> My god! No way! 400 pounds coming down, crashing on the back of the neck. Oh, he's okay though, thank, thank goodness, because that's a career yeah, buster. Oh, uh, hurt more on the outside. Oh, oh that's a guy looked like... Tag. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a huge Maybe. mistake there. I think he's still a little disoriented. Around the world. Another oh, Schwein. Oh! Schwein on top of Cousin K! German. Oh, beautiful oh. Generation 2! Beautiful! Oh. That was... Beautiful. Well struck, Ming Chi. Oh man. Roll up victory for the Chi Dynasty in a hell of a matchup. An absolute classic. And I'm understanding that, unfortunately, due to a storm, I mean, that's going to be something I had to go back and rewatch. Holy shit, that was amazing. That was a great match. And with that victory, Chi Dynasty find themselves back in that number five spot. They were currently sitting at the number six spot. Sorry, Dust Hype Train. You were currently in number six. Good victory for the, uh, for the Chi Dynasty yeah, now. Yeah, it was. Hell of, hell of, a, hell of a victory. Very, very good. Very good match. Yeah, there's crazy weather going on outside. It's not Komodo. Okay, she doesn't control weather. So stop telling us to check the cameras. We will check the cameras. I, we will, I promise you, the cameras will be checked. They will absolutely be checked. And Legend, don't you worry. Everyone is safe. Nothing has happened. Stop worrying wherever you are on assignment. All right. Scheduled for rematch action here. Warjo Ashua and Super Boomer heading at it again. These two went 60 before. I don't know if that's what we're going to see tonight, but I mean, if, if there were two people that could do it, you're looking at it right now. This could get absolutely absurd very, very quickly in this rematch, Nexus. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, these two men tried to kill each other, big dog. They gave, they gave each other everything they had. Something that I've mentioned about Ashtua in the past is that he loves taking the best that his opponents can offer him. The most dangerous move, no matter how he lands on his neck, he will take that move and he will smile knowing that he's taken it and that he can survive it. Boomer gave him everything he had. There was not one thing that I saw in Super, Boom, Super Boomer's arsenal that wasn't used last week. What Boomer has to do this week is maybe stop doing some cartwheels and maybe try and go for the pin more often because Warjo Ashua has fun in that ring whether he's conscious or unconscious and if you're gonna win this match you're gonna have to knock him unconscious because that man loves professional fucking wrestling and he will wrestle <laughs> anyone for as long as the time allows him so if you're not going for the kill watch out because ashua will get you and that's gonna be my prediction that you can't change boomer but sometimes ashua gets lucky so i'm going with ashua all right ready to get underway here with this rematch of the evening, Warjo Ashwa and Super Boomer. What a match to come back in on, Dino Winwood. Let's get to it. 
Okay. What a night it has been so far. Excellent wrestling, Dino. I don't think it's going to stop there. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, we got a pretty damn good roster. And then you got this fantastically brutal son of a bitch coming out here with that amazingly epic music and God, telling the it. fireworks it's okay you can come up <laughs> and they they oblige wow. oh they got the those those giggle sticks plain and pure simpatico i mean it's an incredible instrument dina it's true mr bovine joni himself likes to use it bovine joni my uncle had a couple of his albums your uncle's cool Hells yeah. Speaking and of the winner cool. of the free honorary, uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that, oh! There we go. All right, and uh, let's see, the winner of the honorary uh, free plate of Tijuana pasta is sitting in seat uh, 15B. So, congratulations. You get a free pot plate yeah. of Tijuana pasta. It's coming to free you pasta. right now uh, yeah. during the duration of this matchup. Yeah! You won! Uh, God damn it. Oh, fucking choke on it, you little shit. Now, we're going into the ma magic here with the Snapmare Takeover. Ooh! Showing Super Boomer immediately, I will lift you out of your fucking boots, sir. Professional wrestle me very hard. I want that on a shirt. <laughs> the professional like a white shirt with blue hard. writing. Yeah, professional wrestle me hard. Uh, I'd watch it. Elbow strike there. It'll be oh, did you watch that? Thing. Was that a shoulder thrust or a headbutt? Either way, it hurts. When you're 440 pounds, Dino, it don't matter. I know. The bone structure can't handle that much. So it just depends on the height. Oh, you mean getting hit. My bad. <laughs> Body slam once again. One arm. Just so effortless for this absolutely absurd athlete. Ooh. Like, did you ever see those close call videos where someone's head almost got taken out by like a Mack truck? That's, that's what that was. That's yeah, exactly. That's wrestling with Super Boomer ducking anything of his. Like this right now. Playing a dangerous game. We have a game. band from Dub Three tape. <laughs> like remember some of that, that clip of this woman going in front of the hype train and then boom, we cut the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Love band from Dub Three. <laughs> oh. 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 And Sandwich. a Guatemalan drive-by is what we call that one, that roly big boy. I love the Guatemalan drive-by. <laughs> yeah, oh. shout out to American Wild Child. You are not watching this. Oh, and now <laughs> lateral press. <laughs> but what if he was? Elbow Don't strike. Use your sexy voice. Uh, you know what that does to me. I'm sorry, Texas. I didn't, what? Mean, I didn't mean to lead you on, buddy. <laughs> Ooh. My favorite song. Didn't mean to lead you on. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, God. Well. Leaving that 440 into the midsection of War Hero Ashua. Oh, 40. Oh, 40, indeed. Kicked him right in the mush. Uh oh. Boom, boom. Uh. Oh. <laughs> no water in the pool for boom, boom. Big dog, you made boom boom? Yeah, I made boom boom. Ah. Fucking boomers trying to make some boom boom right here. God damn! What are Get those size 16s? Feet. Yeah! Get off my goddamn feet! Uh oh! There it is again, just throwing them! It's halfway across the goddamn ring. Kia! Only good for a one. I'm not gonna say the c word. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cow say car couch <laughs> crab wheel heart wheel cuckoo pot. Oh, maybe a second one. No, he ate oh. that knee. He said, "Give me more." <laughs> Chicken poo. Feet. Chicken feet. Cat. Oh, it was ding ding ding. You said the magic word. Eee! The bitches also go crazy when the magic word is spoken. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, look at the power! Unlimited power. 
Joshua with a head of steam. Knee strike. Back suplex. Beautifully done. You know, it was all about turnbuckle Travi. Oh, yeah. Looked yeah. like he was going to run to ah! him. Tex Right on the back of the neck. One, two. Can he get his feet to the rope? No. Didn't need to. Those are just too stubby. Just too stubbed. Stub three? Coming soon? Stub three. Good. That's our oh, mini no. fed. <laughs> that's how big oh, that's, knee. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's great. I'm writing that down. Yeah, you want a mini fed of stub three? Stub three? I oh, wish. That's great. Stub three. Uh oh. Oh, depositing him out in front of us. Oh, all three oh, of I us. Oh, I thought he was gonna fly. It's us three. Jesus, fuck. Please no. <laughs> Please in front of spin in the Swedish announce table. This is it's, yeah. The Tabor. <laughs> I didn't talk there. <laughs> the Swedish announced Tabor. Oh no! The Super Bomb. Oh yeah! <laughs> Number one. Oh. Number one. Number one. <laughs> Number two. God damn it! That is so violent. Speaking of oh, violent. Oh, and a death for the spine butters. Oh and no! Another. And to another. No. <laughs> I was like, no, was fuck you! Right no, please stop. Don't do this to me. Back and forth. Both of these guys throwing bombs! Ah! ah. Big Lair! I like how it's getting shorter and shorter. Big Larry? Big Lair? Yeah. You know that Big, big Lair? lair. Long arm Larry. No, short arm Larry, short big arm Larry. <laughs> short one arm leg Larry, Larry. Big Larry. And then, yeah. <laughs> leg Larry. Short Larry. Oh, oh, <laughs> dangerous. oh my god. Pick it up. Oh. At the feet of Celine. <laughs> I like a, I like an offering. <laughs> All right, well, back into the ring after that violence, and it's continuing. Fuck me, that was high and tight on the back of the neck. Four forty, dropping on hand. Speaking of, ah, uh, salutations to the, the Salutations to the Rockies. Yes. It's there a mouthful. Big kisses from the boonies. Big kisses from the boonies. It's great, too. Yeah, a second. <laughs> full Nelson slam. That's what we call a good old full Nelsy. That's true. Also, the full Nelson yes. slam is uh, actually what we call uh, when you order about five breakfasts and then the uh, promoter <laughs> of the building you invite him out to, and he's got to slam all of them. Otherwise, if he doesn't, <laughs> Then you get the building for free. <laughs> oh. I love it. Yeah. The full Nelson slam. Oh, Boomer's breathing heavy, and he got caught with a key yeah, because of it. It just shows you what Oshawa's hits can do, man. He dumps you, he throws you. All that Ugh. shit. And those knees are dangerous. And in fact, I, I, it's rare that I've oh, seen Soupy fuck. Booms. Come in with a deep breath. Uh, oh, you did a boom boom on the back of that boom. Uh, oh! <laughs> We're not even oh, 20 minutes there it in. It's in! Got it! Drop Super Boomer's in down. trouble! That wrist clutch. Sheer drop exploder. One, two. No! To the corner. Boom doggy. Hey. Hey. Hi yo. Boom Sexiest dog. matchup all time. Just the violence, man. Oh! oh! <laughs> I don't Grab think he was going for a pen. I think he was just being mean. <laughs> Speaking of mean choke slam, there. Knee strike. Back side combo. suplex there. Oh! Oh! oh. Boomer's hurt. Boomer's rocked. Another one. Boomer's fucked. Ah, oh, I love God that combo. Damn. It's so beefy. It should come with fries and a soda. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he did it. oh my God! Wow, we. Do do do. 
out of nowhere. He just professionally fucking wrestled the fuck out of him. I th I knew it. I saw Boomer go down to an open palm strike, which is not something you see very often. And he slumped down into a heap. Warajiro Ashiwa, I don't want to call it an upset, but damn, no. if that wasn't a perfectly wrestled match in this rematch by Warajiro Ashiwa. Big yeah, win. Evenly, evenly distributed at the hits on that one. 21 minutes. It didn't seem like that. But Deltzer pulling a hundy out of his undies to give the approval on this match. That's where he keeps all of his undies. That's where he keeps the undies in his undies. <laughs> that coming soon, Deltzer's hundy undies. For when you want to give a five-star pounding, you got to make sure you got those hundy undies. Fuck yeah. Well, we got to keep this show a rolling. We had that big, long ass intermission. Well, we are moving on to more of Dim Boys' Dim Sum getting a shot against Jaguar. If I'm not mistaken, Dim Sum sits at that number four spot in the junior heavyweight division. Jaguar right in front of him at three. Dim having a shot to move up ever so close to that junior heavyweight championship held by one black Jaguar, who we will see the main event tonight in that big eight-man tag. Nexus, what do you think about this upcoming match? How are the Disciples feeling about this one? Uh, I'm not going to speak for the Disciples. Are you... I'm not... I, they're probably feeling great. They're probably rising up, however they choose to. Um, I, don't, I don't care. I, I don't have... A favorite in this match because every time I cheer against him some he happens to win uh, and Jaguar as, as much as I respect him and for what he's done for the junior heavy, heavyweight division I can't go against my favorite kitty which is black Jaguar so I can't cheer for Jaguar I'm a simple man <laughs> I I got I got nothing I got nothing else to tell you other than the fact that I hope dim sum does not win this match <laughs> and that I'm not favoring Jaguar so I'm I'm playing both sides in a way so I always come out so on the bottom. always come out. Oh, yes. A glass uh, fully empty Nexus Omega. Well, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Fuck it. We got we to gotta get this thing rolling. It's Dim Sum and Jaguar is up next. And stop reminding us. We will check the cameras. We, just we're going to check the cameras. Now. We're going to do it. Hold on. We're going to check the we're cameras. We're not going to forget. God, what are we, like, idiots? Ooh, I'm legend. Check the cameras. Hey, I'm Legend. I have to it stay is. seated when Dim Sum comes legend, out. Legend, they're I'll talking shit everywhere. about you. I'm gonna tweet right now, okay? Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's good. God, don't nork. Nork. <laughs> nork. on you. I don't play that fucking game. I play Smash TV. So eat my balls. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Here you yeah. go. I brought. I brought them. You're you're letting them get cold. Eat them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, if you're hungry and you want a nice, delicious treat to dip in your coffee, why not dip my balls in them? That's right. Dino's Doughy Balls. They are fantastic. They're made of dough. Some are glazed. Some are sprinkled with cinnamon in them. Oh. And uh, sprinkles are coming soon once we get the FDA approval. So. They're not sprinkles, are they? Also, for the second Tijuana Pasta giveaway, Protein A. <laughs> I think that was the seed I said last time. Yeah! Oh my god, god damn it! Yeah. yeah, I just finished my plate, I get another one! Oh god, get beanies! This is the best day of my life! I oh. got food, and Legend's not here! He fucking hates Legend. Also, Dojo's wearing my headband! No, he's not on this show. He's wearing my headband! He's not on this show. He's throwing away that headband. If Snitches get switches, then that's fine. I could use another game console. I'd like Jaguar. to be rewarded for my informing. Jaguar Speaking defense of, right out the gate. I was going to say, informing him that he invented that damn move. Now everybody's doing it. Oh, Dino Chasm was on the show earlier in a matchup against Master Fuji, which he was successful in defeating Master Fuji. He uh -oh. attempted to use the Hood Rat Clutch twice. Twice. Whoa. Ooh, is yep. that a call out? I think so. I think that's a call out. I also heard Grizzly murdered a man in a in a It was fucking amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. He had an exploding Larry in that match. <laughs> awesome. That's another Larry. Larry. Exploding Larry hasn't been the same since he got back from the jungle. Oh, explode Larry. 
<laughs> Take it away from the corner. One count, no. One count, yes. God. I don't want to give you the bit of it. I don't want to give you the satisfaction. Oh, he's kicking him in the catcock. The <laughs> catcock? How do you even know he has one? I've never seen one. Have you mm. seen a cat penis? No, I can't say that I have. Well, I just found out last year a duck's is corkscrew. Yep, that's true. Beautiful. Speaking of true and trucity, that drop kick eat is the truth. Arm drag from the world's biggest drag. Wow. Dude, kicking him right in that right tit. Pop. Yeah. Oh my god! You Fuck it out too. enough, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna make it just a little miscolored. Ooh, spinning heel kick to the back of the neck, climbs up him. Oh, to the side of the head with the soul butt. Oh, fuck! Whoa! Big 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 I mean, Damn it looked it. cool, but the execution kidding? did not land. Are you kidding me? This kitty is fucking absurd. It's been too long since we've seen Jaguar. Nope. Oh. 450. Oh, 450. Go for something. Oh, fucking loser. You're a fucking loser, and I hate you, and you're a loser. Big dog. That was wonderful. Thank you. I've had it. Now dragging him away from the corner. I've had it up to here with him some shit and not doing a 450. <laughs> Wow. This is it, huh? Jaguar defense. I gotta get I gotta get back on track. Yeah, be professional, big dog. Yeah, so much so the big. back of the skull. This mushy baby skull. No, no, you I mean, can't if that do that. That's the case. Him. He wouldn't have gotten up, but now hitting it. Uh, thank God he didn't dab. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a who real does that? piece of yeah. shit to dab. Yeah, yeah, who does that? No no one's dabs here. Oh, that's that's three. dab three. <laughs> Dude, no! Well, Tab 3 never coming soon. Nope. Or later. Beautiful. Beautiful. Butterfly. It was an overhook and then an underhook. Usually done. He's very undecisive. Nah, he's just hitting it from both sides. Oh, no! He's going for that Jaguar Suplex. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> No! <laughs> I saw how scared you got, Big Dog. You lost one of your puppy lives. <laughs> oh, Jaguar God. getting out the hood. <laughs> what is he biting? He's like, the hell are you doing? <laughs> Let go. Stop breathing on my hand, you uh, fungus. Oh, uh, do it. Now, do it. To, the floor. to the air now. Take to the I sky. Do it. I'm not going to do it. Pick some up. Oh, oh, now dip some, possibly flying. Nope, going right out after Three. former W3 Junior Heavyweight Champion. Snap suplex. Oh, he's going to the cat eyes. Like, so he got plenty here. Spinning heel kick to the back of the side of the head. Yeah, you, you heard me, chat. I did. You're a snake. You just outed yourself as a serpent. <laughs> Do it. Sexy. Uh, Who do I clutch after the cock? No! <laughs> no! Please! <laughs> Not like this. I Not like a twofer. Oh! Oh! Fucking make him ugly. Angled Chi Chi Chop there. Rolled up to his feet. by clipped its wings. Back body drop. Ah, a little bit late on the bitches. Figure four leg lock. They're, they're old. Yeah. Oh, Dick Forte's favorite maneuver. Woo woo wee woo woo woo. And he does do that. He it's also loses his cock easy. rings around the ring. <laughs> Why does he have ah. more than one around his cock? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Fuck you, Hydrat! Oh, you just that got is smushed! It. One, two, three! Yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here! Get, get out, out of here! Out. This is get great! Out of here. You're a fucking hood rat! You just got caught by a kitty! That's what they do! They hunt rats! Oh, you rat! Hell. Go eat a pizza near a subway station. Pizza. Oh, I want to do that. Eat a pizza near a subway. Well, you you can. It'll be fresh. It won't be off the uh, floor like what? Well, sorta. I mean, they kind of limited their options now, but you know, I still like the smell of bread. Dude, that was <laughs> me too. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. I'm gonna backflip off your chest in Zaguri, and then cartwheel backflip kick you in your shit. That was amazing.
There's a section of the audience that's very quiet all of a sudden. That's okay, guys. You know, he's allowed to lose sometimes. I mean, he can lose sometimes. You only get better when you lose, right? I mean, that's the majority of the beginning of his career. You know? You just lose, and then you lose, and then you frog splash onto nothing because there's no one there, yep, and then that, that you don't you don't you don't stop a pin because you're distracted by someone in the audience, and, and you lose a triple threat. Right? That was really important. And then you don't do a 450. You don't do a 450 like a any match, not one match. But you know what? I, it, it's okay because at the end of the day, just be glad that some kid just got free pasta twice because of Dim Boys, and <laughs> it's the worst yeah. kid. Why was it him? Speaking of satisfying, this next matchup is going to satisfy some cravings uh, for murder. Because it's Sumo <laughs> Joe and Gim Chi one-on-one, -on -one, the heavyweight division fight for the fifth. Joe, after an insanely impressive Eliminator victory this past week, goddamn him and Dojo went for an extra 20 minutes after the, la uh, after the second to last elimination. It was the Dojo Sumo Jojo show incredibly fought. Wonder how much that is going to take out of Sumo Joe coming in here against Kim Chi. And again, Kim Chi could find himself out of the top five. And it is very unfortunate for him that the man that he is going to be staring across the ring from is the Ulan Bataru server himself. Nexus, how do you feel about Kim Chi's chances at withstanding the Mongolian Mountain? Well, he's proven that he can conquer the mountain, and he's proven that he might get close to the top, and then this big old avalanche of usurper chops comes flying at him and knocks him the fuck out. Um, this is a very different Sumo Joe than the last time these two faced each other. And in my opinion, this is still the same kimchi from that last matchup, and that's not saying anything wrong. I'm just saying Joe took a bit of a nap for a while, and something woke him up. Yep. Kimchi has been at the top of the heavyweight division for quite some time now, and I think that's starting to hurt him physically. He's a very demanding individual. It's not like he's going to use it as an excuse, but when you're looking for any kind of leverage going to this Haas fight, the hungrier man might prevail, which is why I'm going to have to go with Sumo Joe, and that's terrifying to picture him back in that top five. All I ask for is a goddamn critical. Me too. Let's head to the ring right now as Sumo <laughs> Joe takes on Kim Chi in the heavyweight division fight for the fifth. Yeah, high Perfect. fives all around, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm feeling it again, Nexus. You feel it down there, right? Because that's where I'm feeling it. Right there. Oh, yeah. Don't point at it. He knows where it's at. No, no, no. no. I was alluding to I thought he was talking about his feet. Yeah, he's, he's pointing right at his dick. Yeah. That's a suit! Yes, it is, Master. <laughs> it has a scarf! I know. He's going to tell us that he used to have a scarf. I used to have a scarf. Oh, I lost it on the bus. Well, there he goes. Yeah, yeah, wandering off. He'll find his way home. Any other wrestler in the company could look up the ramp and see Kim slowly walking down that ramp and feel some slight intimidation or overwhelming intimidation. I don't think Joe feels that. I don't think Joe's ever been intimidated in his life. Fight! Here we go. Got right there. Both these guys so proficient in their strikes. Joe with the chops and the uh. slaps. As you see right there. Oh my god, in the Sapari Rush, the the Sumo Rikishi background coming up clutch for Sumo Joe in these past weeks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the only leg offense you're going to see from Sumo Joe will be that Kapo kick that he likes to use on occasion. He'll throw that Enziguri too. And that Enziguri, yeah, that's it. That's all you're going to see from him. Everything else is going to be those gigantic hands chopping any part of Kim's body. 
I mean any see part. some first time chatters in here. This is a heavyweight collision for the fifth ranking in the W3 heavyweight division. Kim Chi, the man who holds that in the white, and Sumo Cho, as you can see in the black and yellow. Kim Chi trying to keep top mount there. Oh no, here we go. This is what we came to see. Yep. Damn. It, it, it's like he's slapping a wall. And look at Kim Chi crumble at the base of the Mongolian mountain. I only ever notice how small Kim Chi is when he's in a ring with Sumo Joe. Any other competitor in that ring with Kim Chi is almost dwarfed. But Joe is just a different kind of specimen. Oh! And he just decapitated Kim Chi. <laughs> Kim Chi grabbing a front face lock for dear life. It has been mostly Joe through this matchup. That's all Joe is, just mostly Joe. Shoulder tackle there, here we go. Kim Fuck! trying to load up. The second one in succession, trying to pull him. God, nope. He's too big. Big motherfucker. Ugh. Picking him up by the beard and the ear there. No hair to pull for Kim Chi. No, but we've seen Joe be able to grab that skull of his and throw him over his head. <laughs> oh! Fuck. Oh! He measures you. <laughs> I'm gonna cut he right does. here. Yeah. When he does. Yeah. When his hand goes up, he can almost grab one of the lights. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Axe kick, and there's that Enzigari bailing him out. Kim Chi starting to make some headway. That axe kick. Oh. Fucking hell. Where are you gonna go? When Joe, in his large frame, goes for that enziguri, there's not really anywhere you can go. Yeah, because it, it, even if he doesn't get it clean, he's gonna hit you. Mm -hmm. Something of his body is going to hit you. He strikes in the corner. Oh! 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 He just shoved him off! <laughs> this is not good. Oh, Kim! Fighting back. Suplex, beautifully done. Kim's one of the few guys that isn't going to have trouble lifting Joe out, off of his feet. Oh, here we go. Getting the strike. That's number three, I believe. I'm going to keep track if I can. What's after three? Four, four. Okay, I'm ready. I'm Shatine and I get... What the hell comes after six? Oh! Joe throws him over the top. One. Dive, you coward. Way. Oh my god. No. Nope. Oh my god. Oh, he crowds. That up. technically counts. Fucking oh, best that line. That technically best counts. Oh. Jeepers. Larry! Oh, what do you want? <laughs> He's coming right in. Oh, 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 Driver. It's the me. And Larry was one. Larry was God having damn. a nice God nap. Goddamn, goddamn. Fall of a dynasty and two chinis. No. Up into the ropes. Face to foot style. How'd you like it? Axe kick drops the Ulan Batar Usurper. Second one, he is punishing Joe at this point. His nipples look like Milk Duds, big dog. <laughs> oh, fuck. Somebody's gonna get fries with that baby. Woo! They're going back and forth. Here we go. Yeah. Axe yeah. kick drops him! Another Ding -ding -ding. Strike two. Or another one! Jumping axe kick, yeah! Got every single bit of it! No, he's not done! Oh my is that, god! Is that the fourth one? I wasn't keeping track. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, that well, took a little air out of him. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see he's human. Oh, he's long long long. God! Ah. Top rope! Flying body press! That e oh, Kim is going deep in the back. Oh, fuck! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just reaching at the tippity top of his pockets. He's like, I'm just gonna punch you in the face. It's a grumpy Joe. 
Gio has been throwing closed fists now, and uh, that's... Oh, my God. Yeah, why is it taking him so long to know that he can close those gigantic hands? Not everything has to be a chop. You gotta keep it traditional. Oh, fuck. Axie to the back of the head. Unreal. He's gotta go for the pin. No. Go to his feet. And again, Spari Rush Capo kick to the back of the head. And again, slowing the pace down. Ooh, oh, abdominable snowman. <laughs> he does one of those once every few months. Yeah. What better way to check for snow and in September? <laughs> I don't think he really had a choice to break that. Oh, oh my god! No again! Capo kick mows him down, but Joe is winded. He's been chopping his chest so many times, it's going to be an usurpal nurple at this point. Usurpal nurple. Oh! Kicked up right in his shit! Top rope. Oh, fuck! Diving fucking brain job. Ah! <laughs> One! Two! Oh. oh! Damn, that was close. He Every time get... he goes for that, man, I assume he trips on something. That axe kick to the top of the head, throwing every single thing into it. Middle of the ring. Kiss and Gary. Turn any haircut into a middle part. Now well, Joe. Claiming his victory right here, and he might do just that. Larry Oh! Fucking <laughs> shit. One, two. No. Wow. I'm sure the back of his teeth are just completely out of his gums by now. Uh oh. <laughs> now painting him. Lifting the knee! Vintage. Classic kimchi. The combos, when they start falling, that is when Kim is at his best. Axe kick! Incredible vertical leap for a man the size of kimchi! But Sumo Joe does as his name implies. Jeez! Oh. No, nowhere to go at all. <laughs> purple nurple. God damn! Imagine a purple nurple from that man. It'd be terrible. No. The strike, but Joe to his feet. Right back down. Kim Chi having something in mind. Flying body press again. Three fifteen. Oh, oh, Joe's. Is he bleeding? He's bleeding. He is staring. Oh, fucking he's gushing! Absolute holes into Steel Talon. Oh <laughs> fuck! That is an absolute. That's a lot warrior. of blood. That's a, oh! To the back of the neck. That's gotta be it. Capo kick rolls through to his feet. One, two, three. Sumo Joe is ranked. Fifth in the heavyweight division. Look out. Holy shit. The Mongolian Mountain. It's looking so much up. more epic with blood on him. In in defiance. Oh man. 22 minutes, 58 seconds. 100 percent from delts. Hundies undies <laughs> dropping. Hundies up those undies, <laughs> yep. We're going to check the cameras. It's going to be it. Look, everyone's doing their job here right now. We're going to wait till that final match wraps up, and then we're going to see the real shit. When everyone's off, everyone's just catch, catch whatever's going on on those cameras. I think that's the time we need to catch the best. Uh, it, yeah. Huge cloud of shit. Wow. I, I feel goosebumps when Akane's around, and you know what? I don't feel any goosebumps, no. so there's nothing, nothing to worry about. Oh, they're called duck bumps. We're not getting sued. Look. We got to go to the ring because the junior heavyweight division eliminator is up next for all new uh, it, participants in this one. No returning wrestlers because Dinsum did his damn thing. Let's head to it right now. Yeah, yeah, he did his damn thing, but he lost tonight. So you know, yes, he so, did. And, you know, and and Chasm did the hood rat clutch. You know, not a good night for Jim Boyce. I just want to put that out there. Oh. oh. 
<laughs> Just in time, Riz. <laughs> Gemini. Games with that reason. <laughs> Forgot the name of the guy. Oh shit! What? Gemini. <laughs> He's got rips on his thighs. Yes, he does. One hot. Gemini. Oh look, he's gonna do that moonwalk, and it looks so cool. He does look cool. He does increase his sneakers. Oh well. I think I know what this is. Yeah. Yeah, that's only gotta be one, right? Yeah. Hikaru Shizuka. Can he step up tonight? We just watched Sumo Joe win one for the Chi Dynasty earlier tonight. Master Fuji taking a loss to Chasm. Ah, those giggle sticks. Oh! oh. Ooh! Ooh. Ah! Baby. Who do you need? <laughs> Axlo, Who do oh, you love yourself. When you come on down. Oh my! Could it be? <laughs> Seriously cool. I love fucking Axel though. What? Excuse me? Heroic epic music. Riding Ooh. on the horse. Oh, it's the epic music. Yeah. Walking across a green plain. And he's got a mask on. Big Bash White's here. And he's wearing red white, and he's jumping by a waterfall. I'm describing his epic music video. This is gonna be fucking nuts. Hit with go. Oh, trying to shoot on the legs there. One hundred jumping in. No, that was actually with the shot to the back of the head, and now seeing him off into the ropes. Picks up Dragoon. I'm not jumping in now with a big shot underneath the chin. It's with a forearm smash to the back of the head. Big throw. He's suplexed by Axe. But Ashley's he's gonna give up with the stretch, but no look at that one. He goes in with a big backbreaker. Stomping away at the small of it. Found the spot. Looking to weak it. Back elbow twice now. Oh, three times in the shoot. Oh, in. shit. Into the heel hold. No give on that one. It's gonna take a long time to grind down Axe. Let me tell you that much. That's what Ted trying to shoot in now. Oh, nice reversal there by a Dragoon. Reason why. God damn. Uh, indeed. Get off your ass and jam. Speaking of which, jamming. Throwing him deep into the pockets of Dub. The backbreaker now one hot jump it up. Gonna go with the back elbow. Fuji where? Knife edge with a big slap to the tips. Off into the ropes there, oh. goes the axe, ducks it, but gets nailed into the nose! Dragoon now, oh, it's in the Lama he's trying one count only. Dragoon just waiting to see who's gonna charge first. Gets that backbreaker, holds the leg for the leg drop. Back to the elbow onto the back of the head, double kiss in the midsection there by Dragoon now locking up into the oh Shizuka. It's in with the open hand slap and gets dropped. Need follow up, and now Gemini reversing the buckle. Uh oh. Play step into the penthouse screen. You better be careful. That's where he is the most comfortable. Oh, and with a oh. from freaking Schneider. And now strike off between Gemini and Axe. Who's gonna win this cut down? Oh, Axe is able to chop down one on Gemini and as well as Dragoon. Gotta go for the kicks in the midsection. Now she has opened down the double kicks in the midsection there by Gemini. Now Gemini got into the shoot. Oh. The Dragoon suplex. Suplex to the floor! Axe throwing Shizuka! Shit cannon of- And now pain oh, in the face! Kick to the midsection! Feeding him into the buckles! And now a high kick there by Dragoon, and now one hundred the Dragoon kick to the midsection, and now swinging into the curry there by Dragoon as he throws Shizuka on the outside of the world! Look how it is! Catch it up! One! Two! No, one count only! Shoots in for the Dragoon, and to the Dragoon sleeper! Usually following that Jaguar defense, double suplex there by Axe and Dragoon! Single leg step up into Guri there by one hunch up and I not forget to drive him down. Stomping away at the back of the head. And twice the above the oh. that shoots in for the body. And now throws it off amateur style. Big back to the snow, but he lands onto his feet. Big kicks to the back there. Everybody's back to their feet now. Elbow strike with the big point on the axe. Ripple time. Third time is a charm. Let's swing for the leg on that one, but no connection is made. Oh. Dragoon suplex. They drop to the back of the head of Shizuka. Shizuka now getting back into the big hook kick and shoots in that one. Whoa, they want to do it. Now to the pin. One, two. Two count only. Oh. It's in. Pump handle. Oh. Drive under the knee. Yeah. Trying to dull the axe. Kicks there by Shizuka. 
or excuse me, by Dragoon onto Shiazoka. Shiazoka now firing back with the elbow strike. She's going to win the exchange here. As they get back to the corner, Shiazoka falls down, but Dragoon slowly follows. He ended up in section by accident. Now, throwing up one on but gets slapped in the face there by Shizoka. Shizoka now is going to try to shoot him, but the one on Jemadai, but on Jemadai with the seat in the back. And now, using this time to dance, because why not? Dragoon twist! Dragoon twist! One, two! Whoa. No, Dragoon gets Whoa. knocked down twice now by Gemini. Ah, then the ropes there. Flah! With the drop kick slide to the side of the head. Double suplex. Down goes Shizoka. Big indie kick to the small of the back. Boots off into the ropes. Breaker with a looking kick, but gets the shooter by Shizoka. Shizoka down the cross side breaker. But it's the rope break, not the break he was looking for, but he's going to try to go for the next one here. He seems to have his focus on the Dragoon. Dragoon now with the kick back of the head. Dragoon, Dragoon sleeper on the Shizoka. And is Axe standing on Shizoka for extra open? She tries the German suplex. Oh, nice spinning so through the chamber. He's even the victory special. One, two, two can only. A foie! Hook kick down by Axe, always pretty to see. It's going to be the single leg boss of credit. Painting the faith of Shizuka with the kick to the midsection, and possibly the dick. And now picks up. Oh! Power bomb! Grinder! As if with the two counts. And now painting up the cheeks of One Hot Gemini. Oh my god! Oh, Romero Special is in the reversal there with the pin, but his ass is in the ropes. That Literally. It's off the Oh, One Hot Gemini now. And now go for the pose! Oh. Moon salt on top of Shizuka! That's him with the to with the suplex there, but Axe gets rid of the grasp. Outside double kiss to the midsection there by uh, Dragoon. He's saying, come on, get up! Bwah! To the back. Oh, there Axe, it is! Axe, you wear a takedown there on the Axe trying to do it! Both suplex... Oh, so submission maneuvers not getting the, the results that they desired. Uh, expending suplex up by one hot Gemini. Warm smash. Off in the rope double style! Big kick into the three special! One, two! No. Two count only. Let's go with the elbow strikes again, but no look at that. Dragoon cut the plan short with the tossing suplex. And now we'll have suplex there, spinning around into the slap of the Dragoon. Dragoon now gives him the backbreaker. Oh. Dudes in with a butterfly kick. Shit. Now punching away, strike offs, working over the shoulder of Dragoon. Now Axe able to knock down one hot Gemini, dragging the feet away. His mouth there into the cross oh, breaker of the Dragoon. Dragoon is in very much big trouble. Gonna see if Shizoka, but no, he didn't to escape. There's that back elbow there into the head. He's stomping away for the extra oomph. Neckbreaker. As Dragoon hits on the top. Dragoon Got twist! It. Oh no. Another one! One more time! Bouncing off into him. Rolls over. DDT! Two! Lama Yistral. One, two, oh, three! Axe the first, is first eliminated. They're now down to Dragoon, one hundred Gemini, and Shizoka. Shizoka now pointing up to the hair, saying it's still there. Picks up. Oh, Wasty Fisherman. Oh, he's cut him into that uh, the twisted line of the Fisherman Suplex. And now into the Romero Special. But he's got the hair in the ropes. Damn you, hair. Rips in, straight jacket. German Suplex, but his toes are in the buckles. Some of the arm drag takeover now. Jarrah kick, launching him, lining him up with his other opponent. Fujiwara! Oh, Elbow strikes the kick, who's gonna win this one? Oh! Trying to cut it short, but no look on that one! Lifting knees, Shizoka taking down two of them, says that's how you played smart! Locked in! Fujiwara on the one hot! He snaps into it so quickly and so violently. Elbow strikes there, but no, one hot Gemini. Managing to get it away from him, so he's gonna go for another Cancun twist. Or oh. who? Picks up, stab, suplex into the ropes. And now landing up to Yazoka, close to that corner. Elbow drop to the back of the knees. Now one hot Gemini heading in. Move! Oh, twisting set up, but nobody there. Oh, pain oh, them. Oh. Both sides of the fence getting red. Double suplex into the deep pocket of the dub. Right the arm into arm. the cross arm breaker. Dragoon is trapped, but no Gemini saves him. Missed it. Swings away, lifts up, twisty neck breaker. Oh, beautiful. Suplex high and tight, but his toes are in the ropes. DDT now that by Gemini. Well, he's strong. Well, no, Dragoon wants to get it. A lot of pissing going on in this contest. Uh, yeah. Shoots off into the ropes, and now bring him to the opposite side. One. Oh! Double special! Two! Three! Incredible! Gemini! 
Captured by Dragoon! Dragoon now! Left him with Shizoka, but Shizoka seems to be the fresher man! Oh, shit. It's a power running! Uh... Boom! Into the buckles! Oh, nice wheel kick there by uh, Aztec. Just like that. It's a one, one, two, two, three. three! Aztec Dragoon is fucking back. Incredible victory there. Oh, shit. Dis Wonderfully executed. Dispatching everyone, I want to say. No, the Maestro Crate, I want to say, was one hot Gemini over Axel Vo. But the flying roll up pin out of the Lamaestra cradle of One Hot Gemini was something I have never seen. And Aztec Dragoon looks like he is back on the right track here. Most certainly hope so. As you saw right there, the first one eliminated uh, with the Aztec, or excuse me, the uh, Lamaestra, then the flying roll up pin, and then the Aztec press. A lot of pinning predicaments used in this elimination of the junior heavyweight division. But a wonderful job there by Dragoon. All right. That's what I do. I'm heading out to the hotel. I'll see y'all at the at the at the fucking pay per view. Absolutely. Thank you very Thank much, you Dino. Know. Love you. Bye. Take care. Uh, it's top. I, ooh, Swedish Ace. Ooh, that tier one sub. Twenty nine <laughs> months. Name. Stank boys for life. You damn right we stank. And and this match sure has a lot of stank on the horizon here. The That's count and the shekel. <laughs> I mean, they're you want to talk about... I know what you mean. Mo yes. This is the most hoss battle you could ever fucking hope to hoss. <laughs> and Ace yep. has got here for the exact perfect time for it. Thank you very much, Ace. Hope you've been having a fucking nice AS night like we have. Dub3 has been sick tonight. And uh, we still got two more bangers, including this one right here. 30-minute time limit is going to be in effect television championship on the line nexus jekyll's had a hard go of it as the television champion thus far uh doesn't get any easier from here what's your thoughts no absolutely not the uh the snake stomping restonian count here looking to feed off of the energy of from grizzly earlier tonight picking up that impressive victory in that extreme match against alibaba we have not seen typos negative have really strong singles runs, but that doesn't mean that they don't already have legendary singles runs in their careers. And just all it took Grizz was just a little spark, just a little explosion, and you saw what that did to him. He he, that was not the same Grizzly that we saw in typos negative. That was a focused Grizzly. I think what'll happen in this match here. Is Jekyll obviously getting better every week, being tested every week, just had two back-to-back -back matches against Mononoke, finally put her away last week. Count is going to be looking to take that championship from Jekyll, and Jekyll, the mistake he will make in this match is he's going to get Count angry. And when Count gets angry, you better get ready, because once he starts stomping, especially in the corner, you know that Lariat is coming. And it, I I mean, we saw Yoshi eat a shit ton of those lariats. I don't know how many Jekyll is going to be able to take. He's been out here weekly. I would love to see a new television champion here tonight. I'd love to see the Count kind of get an extra spark in his career. Win that gold. Hang on to it weekly. I got to go with the Count. I think it'd be pretty awesome to see him win. Here, I, really think, I really think so. If he starts stomping... The crowd's going to get on their feet, and people are going to go absolutely insane. Jekyll proved me wrong. All right. Hey, hey, you know that you know that old-fashioned, old-timey saying, the, the Mississippian and the Estonian walk into the bar. You know the, the rest, Nexus. Yeah, they, they uh, they, everyone shitted. Yep, exactly. Semi-main event on the way, W3 Television Championship on the line. The count. Challenging Jekyll. Let's head to the ring. Everyone shit it. And then every, everyone got stanky. Stank boys. Whole bunch of stank on this match. No, oh, he's stomping. Oh, he's stomping.
it's a monumental matchup in the Count's career here in W3. Chance to capture singles gold. Spread it on! You got this one, Nexus? Me? I'm gonna throw it over to that kid right there. Oh no. Bianca <laughs> just went right here, please. Yeah, I got just one right hand for you. And Gloria's kinda hot. Don't tell her I said she's hot. Yeah, he's Where is Jekyll? Hey, Jekyll, he's got a belt. He's smaller than Dojo. He's stompy, stompy, he's fat, he's ugly, he's stompy, stompy, he's heavy, hogging. Hey, he just passed out. Yeah, he can't talk that much. Actually, dude, he you, do you have any idea how much pasta he had tonight? He needs a nap. Yeah, he got two he's, free he's, plates he's got, of Tijuana pasta. Man, you know that Tijuana pasta puts you to sleep real quick. It's got the itis. What a rude piece of shit. Well, one of these guys could be taking a nap here in a second. Both these guys, no strangers to criticaling, but as it seems, as of recent, W three is a stranger to criticals. Yeah, we had we just everyone taking care of each other. Which guys, we love you for it, but. <laughs> We, yeah, thank you, Gloria. It's it's time one of you hurts the other real bad because we need a high a knockout of the week. We need sponsors, goddammit. Yeah, how are we supposed to make money? Going it's September, everybody. It is September. You should sub. <laughs> and I'm gonna dom you. Ooh. Speaking of dom, Jekyll. Exactly. <laughs> Dominic. I. I Fighting off that suplex from the count, that's not easy. Kind of a mirror matchup here. One's a little bit more tailored into I into uh, athletics and the other's just a fucking stomping madman. And we're getting it for free. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone oh. said something to Glory. Oh, you... you don't say nothing to Gloria. Unless she found where Timmy was sitting. <laughs> yeah, fuck Timmy. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, come into this stupid oh, little adorable man. Oh shit, he's gonna put it. Oh! oh! Father, kitchen swink. The kitchen swink. The kitchen swink. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best kind of sink. One that swings. It's Makes so such a mess. It's, Water it's everywhere. So <laughs> oh fuck, look at these two. Throw it. Oh, they throw it. Oh, they stanky, big dog. That's some stanky punches. Suplex coming up. Walking him out with it. Hell yeah. Got Eight. some style, does that one. Fucking bruisers here. Five minutes gone. <laughs> <laughs> Each backing up. It's like, all right, let's go. All right. Tighten up my uh, elbow pad here. The rope. Caught him low again. Going for the cover. One count only, Nexus. There He's right there. Trying to run down with the shoulder tackle to no avail. Ugh. Boston God Crazy. Damn. Boston Crazy from a man the size of the count. Oh. 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 Fuck. 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 Repeated clubbing blows to the back of the neck. A snap Club and blow. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me think of dust type train. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. German. They are oh. just throwing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> They're just challenging each other at this point. Like, knock me out. <laughs> they just want, one of them wants to get the other one to knock them out. Let's see who obliges. Two for the price of one elbows there. Uh oh. God damn. Full Nelson. <laughs> Gonna run him down. No, duck the clothesline. Duck the punch. He, Powerbomb. No, just, backdrop. He, he just tried to Larry the count, and count saw it coming. And he doesn't see a lot coming because he's deaf. <laughs> because he's deaf. Thank you. Yeah. Clubbing blow to the back of the uh, uh, to the back of the back is what I was. About. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, what's this? Oh no! <laughs> he got Man, a guys. He has a fork. He's he's ready to start eating. Wait, no. What are you doing? There's no countouts in this, you bitch. Blue, Eight don't piss me off today. Not today of all days, you bitch. He deserved that. 
He did. No one's gonna call oh, him. Oh, this is a mod slide one, two. That's it. No. Perfectly in the middle of the ring too. Jekyll's getting a lot better at that. And you notice that from the television champions. Yes, our wrestlers are not stupid, oh, but the television. Yeah! Jax Larry, the Eastern Bloc Larry, two champion. champion. No, Jesus oh. Christ, he threw him off. Of him. What I was gonna get at is just the television champions learn better, much better ring positioning. That's the sentence. Book it. Over to the ropes, flying shoulder tackle, throwing 300 pounds at the count. Oh, throwing a Larry. Big Larry. Wherever you are. Oh! <laughs> Reverse power slam. Stomping it at the oh. head. Oh, oh, he's called for oh. oh, my! Oh, my. You champion! No. You champion! Oh, oh. he got the shoulder off last possible second. Barely moving. Barely getting that shoulder up. Jekyll is in trouble, and we're not even halfway through. But he's somehow fighting through it. God, oh. blue suede shoes with the closest of counts there. Oh, I, I don't know what he was trying for there. Maybe Mississippi butt slide to the outside. Oh! Again. Whatever works at this point. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Stop it again. No. Shit. No. Yes! Ah! Again! Again! New, New champion! champion! New champion! God, no! Again! Again! Blue suede shoes is in the correct position to get a look at that, making sure that shoulder's coming up. Oh, oh my god, you were asking! Um, you were asking, and that was the answer right there. A powerbomb. Mississippi mudslide! On the outside, he's got Barb! Oh, no, it went pop pop. <laughs> pop pop in the attic, big dog. <laughs> oh, his ass is on fire. His ass is on fire. Oh, there's a mochi mallet. Mochi mallet. Fuck it. This is exactly the type of fight Gloria's into. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Someone got the bad end of that. God That's damn. Barb. A little over halfway into this matchup. That Jekyll. time limit. Jekyll's got all the momentum here. Throws him in there. Oh, no, the oh. count. Oh, he's playing a little playing. bit of trickery. Yep. Oh. Banger, banger. Second one. Oh, that DDT! A dangerous DDT that we've Very. seen Powder Keg put Wu Fang away with. Right into the exploding bat there, threw him in it. And he crowned him. He is now crowned himself as the best, but he just got popped in the cockle. Yep. Punched him right <laughs> in his shit. Yeah, that, was, that worked, Count. Keep doing that. Into the opposite of Murder Corner. Stomp to the midsection there. What What is the opposite of... Oh! Oh, fuck! He got right back on his feet. Maybe bouncing from the fucking sheer force of it. Oh! Falling oh. elbow drop. Oh, my God. That was more Classic. like a back senton <laughs> across the entirety of his back. Mississippi Vines run! One! Two! No! Damn, I thought that was it. He hit him with a few of those on the outside. Ow, oh, fuck. He's feeling it. Again, going to the DDT. Oh, oh. we're just going to throw. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Popped him. Again, shoulder that shoulder tackle. tackle. Oh, maybe warming up for a lariat. You are a sorcerer. How did you know? Well, he was getting it ready. Oh, that's true. I gotta pay attention. 
Oh, oh, so does Jackal ran right into it. Oh. Oh, oh Jackal's set it up. Oh, football tackle, mowed him down. That'll slow him down. Hopefully. Maybe just a tad. Yep. Yeah, yep. there it is. Mississippi Mudslide. One, two. No. No. We're approaching that time. No, oh. missed it. Oh, oh. fucking. No. <laughs> One, two, three. No. Champion. New television champion. Fucking Lariat from the count does it. Jekyll has been dethroned, our new television champion, The Count. New tele Count's first taste of singles, gold in W3, comes at the dismantling of Jekyll of the Blessed Brutality Alliance. Congratulations. Holy shit. Good night for Typhos. Very good night. night. Terrific audience. You yeah, terrific audience. Yeah, and we will check the camera. We're gonna okay. look after this is done. We'll check the cameras. I have had zero count them zero duck bumps, so Akane is not around. Okay, just relax. We're good. Wait, we got the main event coming up next, everyone. Thank you for sticking with us. It's, it's going to be a huge goddamn match is what it's going to be. We got the challengers to all the belts, except for the Television Extreme Championship, taking on the champions. Champions versus challengers, as you see lined up on the left. Machio, Kronos, Hannibal, and Sisters of Vengeance. The number one contenders in their respective divisions and on the opposite side. Led by PK himself, the heavyweight champion of the world. The junior heavyweight champion, Black Jaguar, and the tag team champions of the world. The Schneider Boys. This is everything. Every style you could imagine in professional wrestling, you're going to see it in this matchup. It is going to be a fucking absolute war. Yeah, you know, uh, I I will I will state this. Uh, on one hand, where all the champions are nestled together, the powerhouses that they are, they have no history with one no. another. The, the Schneiders have never had a run in with PK, I don't think, unless I'm nope. crazy. And uh, Black Jaguar, you know, always in these matches, at least lately, from what I can tell. But on the other side, Big Dog, we have the Sisters of Vengeance, Hannibal and Machio Kronos. Now, if you've been with us for a while, Dub Three Faithful. You'll know that there is history here. History involving Hannibal and Black Widow. History involving Machio Kronos and Beast Sasori. Yep. Machio Kronos and Beast Sasori hated each other and beat the shit out of each other for weeks and weeks and weeks. And it made Beast Sasori better. And it ended up leading her to the top of the heavyweight division to face Executioner. Now, Black Widow was, was the junior heavyweight champion, our first junior heavyweight champion. And the man who took that title from her was Hannibal. It was. This is a lot of moving parts here. Really, the newcomers on the block, Dash and Bash, I'm going to be looking at them because they have been dynamic in their stay here in W3 thus far. In fact, they showed up and they basically ran through W3 and now the champions in that tag team division. I don't want to say this is new guard versus old guard because Powder Keg is an OG, absolutely. But Black Jaguar was late to the party and D Dash and Bash are two of the newer acquisitions uh, of W3. This is, this has everything you could ever want in it. And, and on top of that, it's challengers versus champions. If the challengers get a win here, that is going to bode incredibly well. This alone is probably the biggest match of Machia Kronos' career. Leading into, for sure, the biggest match of Machia Kronos' career at Blood and Steel 3. So without further ado, let's head down to the ring for the main event of the evening. Champions versus Challengers. 
No Tim Curd, no Gloria Keg, no Colonel Parker Brothers. What a hell of a team. Yeah. Really heavy team. Hard hitting. Fast. Uh, yeah, you got it. You got everything you want here. You got jackets. You got jackets. You got. Got. You got mystery. And uh. Letting got it the Mac Daddy. sink in. Maybe getting some last minute pointers from Colonel Robert Park. Excuse me, Colonel Parker Brothers. Don't know who that other guy is. Robert? I didn't hear nothing. Never met someone named Robert in my life. Wait, hold on. Nope. Robbie Jones. No, have... He would technically is, be named Robert. He said Robert? Spread oh, it spread it on! Hopefully you know what? I got this instrument. Yeah. No, he's passed out. He's passed out. Thank God. He's passed out. I think we can just enjoy the music for once. I think it's calling those bitches. Shit, I thought Dash was about to take it. Oh, there's my kitty. And there's the heavyweight champion. All of the gold is shining. And they're all wearing it, which is very important. Proud champions are these men. Around the world, indeed. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is a... Here we go. That is a kitty that is very high on himself. Well, he better watch out, because what Jaguar showed earlier tonight... Oh, here we go. Preview. Yep. We're getting it right now. Yeah. Look at them dump into the ring oh. immediately. Sisters of Vengeance, no... No stranger to Powder Kick mm. either. All the wars Blessed Brutality Alliance have had with SLV in their careers. Eating the key all there. Chopped them right in the tits. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Series of knuckle sandwiches there for Kronos. I hope he was hungry. Machio Kronos has, has he has been taken to calling himself the Mock Daddy. Ain't here He's very with focused. That is Bash. Sometimes you get the names mixed up. That is for sure Bash, the older brother. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I just remember that Bash always calls to his bitches. So Bash, bitches. That's how you remember. Mm, back suplex spinning him out. Placed him perfectly for Black Jaguar. See, that is the, uh, the benefits of being tag team wrestlers. I mean, let's be real here. The, the Schneiders have been... Tag team partners since they fucking were children. Yeah, I think Bash came out first, and then he gave Dash the hot tag right out of Mrs. Schneider. <laughs> now, speaking Don't of... Don't picture it. Tagging in Dash. Possibly one of the most explosive athletes in W3, and we have a lot of them here. Speaking of explosive, that German yeah. suplex... Body slam, not going to work on it. Oh, heavy kick. Got a lot of muscle to bust through, though, with that boot. <laughs> the trading kicks there. Shot to the midsection. Black Widow, smallest competitor in this match by a significant margin. Using that 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 cross lock maneuver, sitting down on it, but she crosses that leg in front of it instead of behind. It puts that extra little little tension on the hamstring. Yeah. You can't get you can't get it sunk in quite as deep, but it is painful. She s snaps it on real quick too. Went for the suplex eye and now oh, showed her how to do it. That's Sitting a down heavy on one. It. In yeah. fact, he's won countless matches with that maneuver right there. 
He sure has. And this is really interesting here, because you see Beast and Widow focused on tagging each other here. Yep. They're going to have to work with Kronos and maybe tag in Hannibal at some point. I don't think, yet to see any action. I don't think Hannibal's seen any action. I wouldn't bear to think that Widow has something to do with that. You know, there might have been a bit of a chat before this match. Oh! oh! It woke her up, though, but... Oh, yeah, no, it woke her up. <laughs> Throwing hands. Beautiful. Beast of Sori is a tough customer and no one to take lightly in any sense of the matter. Does very well in these multi-man matches, yes, too. Yes, she does. Just does. Oh, here we go, Hannibal. Hannibal. Hannibal real fresh. He's getting key on. He's a significant weight disadvantage there, but Black Jaguar wanting in on it. Oh, Hannibal. There we go. They was in trouble for a second there. As cocky and conceited as Black Jaguar is, you can't say that he isn't a competitor. He immediately was asking for the tag. It's that Black Jag swag, big dog. He's confident. Yeah. This is not the same Black Jaguar who thought he was the ace back in an or the highway too. Got real cocky, thought he could be defeat three other men, and they made him pay real quick by having him be the first one eliminated. He sat and stewed on that on top of his cat tree for a year. Gorgeous arm drag. God damn, no one does it like Black Jaguar there. Oh, I've never seen anyone do it like that. Oh, look at this teamwork. Oh! Tandem they hate each other. There. They hate each other, but you know, they can work well together. There's a lot riding on this. There's that momentum that you want. You want to go out, you want to go into Blood and Steel 3 with a win. And what I want is for someone in this match to get knocked out. And then look, think of the story that one of the people has to recover from that in, less, in, in a little over a week. Oh, PK! Better maneuver there. Mary, Mary, oh, and he got bonked off the apron for his he brain. Paid, he paid for it. He did. He took a bad bump. Kronos calling for the tag. She obliges. Sends him all the way to the outside. And now it looks like... Beast of Sori is going to the outside. Snap, pile driver slash power bomb. I don't know what the fuck you call that. I don't know where the champions are right now, but they gotta help out. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh! Oh, we got a 20 count. We got a 20 count, guys. Come on. There we go. Absolutely. I don't. I don't know what's happening. Going on inside the ring. Yeah. Everyone in the pool. Oh. Big thud. Here comes the heavyweight champion. Big thud there again. Has Powder Keg ever felt a shut the fuck? I, I don't know, but I, I do know for a fact that he used to use it frequently. Oh! oh he, he sure did, and that was quite something. He's He used to be uh, someone, uh, he picked that up in his tours of Japan. The shut the fuck face lock. I think he called it something else, though, but... Whoa. <laughs> Bringing it from way back, the champion looking for blood. Excuse me, I, I should specify the heavyweight champion because there is gold up and down that right side of the ring. And as Legend would say, good, you should specify. Oh my god! Are you kidding? Oh! Roots on! No, oh, she's waiting! She's waiting?! Oh my goodness! Whoa. Accordion yeah, the style! The world oh. champion in trouble! Yup. Yup. Uh, that was fucking brutal. Brutal. That's the damnedest dropkick I've ever seen. Didn't miss that one. Got every single bit of it. And the champion almost was the one taking the pinfall. The heavyweight champion on the apron. And he is breathing heavy after that one. And you know what? I think that was a show of respect from Hannibal. He knows that just a regular deal won't put away Powder Keg. It's got to be a fucking top rope deal. Now the champion's getting in on the heavyweight challenge here on the... Oh, but the Sasori crosslock cross lock, locked in. Crosslock on Bash. Suplex. Rolling in. Headbutt. Oh, Kia. <laughs> we got everything. Everything you wanted more here in W3 in the main event. Eight man tag matchup. The juniors coming in. 
Blood and Steel 3 next Sunday at 8 p.m. He's suplexing him in. Oh, he's not done with Kronos. Taking he's his eyes not. off the prize, though. That could have been a mistake. It, it is a mistake. Critical mistake. Phoenix splash to the back. No, 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 no. no. Bad breaker in response and immediately going. Black Jaguar is probably one of the smartest wrestlers in the world today. I've agreed. Completely agree. Smartest cat in the biz, big dog. Conceited, clever. Yeah, I mean, all hall hallmarks of kitties. Mm hmm. Was that Kronos? Yes, it, it was. was all He's right. having a great fucking time. He is. He's in the main event. When was the last time he was in the main event, Big Dog? Well, tonight and... Oh! Whoa! 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 Black Jaguar watching his UCW oh, tapes. I think Bashed. he's like... Go on him! Give up. Reverse figure four leg lock. He's just barking. He is. He's trying to get the bitches crazy without a back body drop. Oh! oh! Beast of no, story. Don't, don't fight each other. No, please. You're my... No. Okay, good. Backpack pound driver. Oh, <laughs> I see Whittle's eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I thought, <laughs> I thought he was going to go to the corner <laughs> and go for a frog splash. Oh, maybe the Frankenschneider from the top. No. No. Power Bob. What? No. They uh, add everyone into the pool. Oh. oh my job. I'm getting the worst of it. Oh, kitty. No. Back body drop. Oh. Pele oh. kick. Drops dash into a heap of just dirt and muscle double power bomb oh! look at everyone taking a page out of everyone's book fuck tap at the keg yeah. it's overflowing big dog <laughs> refusing tags there but he is so far into his own territory here oh kicked her in the tee that yep. was dirty yeah she she kind of she kind of asked for it <laughs> Absolutely dirty. And Keg looking to finish it off. Power bomb. One, two, three. No, no. Widow showing why she she's a true up. OG. Fuck Go over the me. cover. I that was it. I'll be honest. I didn't know if Widow had it in her at this point in the match. A lot of damage has been done around the world. Around the world. Smart. Corner. Very smart. Oh no, Dash is throwing suplexes now. Yep, well, Excuse he's me, in Bash. trouble. You know, they both do suplexes, let's be real. They do. They be bashing. Dashing and bashing. Bashing and dashing, yeah. that's what Black, I what, Look behind you, Bash. Don't just present yourself to your opponents oh. like that. Ugh. Oh, Kronos let him get away from him. Slip through his fingers. Mistake. And now deep into champion territory. No, this is oh. it. Got it! Oh, One, two, three! Ah. And the, oh my god, the champions. Successful Machio Kronos eating a pinfall here. Leading into Blood and Steel 3. He has a lot, a lot to look forward to here tonight. But that frog splash spells the end. Damn. Hannibal yep. looking on at that one. <laughs> that could very yeah. well be your fate. I mean, that frog splash... I mean, that's how he won the Junior Heavyweight Championship. He knocked Jaguar out when he landed on him. The impact from that kitty just put away the heavyweight contender, which, taking nothing away from Kronos, a lot of damage was done in that match. And the one thing that we are not thinking about is, yes, uh, oh, do, you, do you see the message that I just got? Oh, yeah. God damn it. Okay. All okay. right. All right. You know what? All right. But, but we're doing it because... You decided to do it. Now, this is a good time to do it. Yep. I'm, we're we're going to go and check the cameras. Fine.
shit. Oh my god. We caught something. We damn sure oh. caught something. I'm glad Kyle could get back there to get a better look at it. Table Salt Tommy has been jumped. And it is very, very clear that Prickly Pete has left his mark. Has scarred. Table Saw Tommy, you saw it there, clear as day. He wants the real, what does that even mean, the real Table Saw Tommy?